When our eyes have opened to shadows and moke thick air of the circus tent, when old men's droning of what circus once was, and mother's sibilant scolding to restless children has slowed to a merely perceptible pulse, the carny throws back the bedsheet curtain, strides to the stage's edge where he pauses above us. In the growled breath of the crank collar, he twangs his whiskey hard spiel. What you are about to see, nothing ever like it on earth, tenderest part of the body, beyond human understanding, Electra. From behind the bed she shuffles a scrawny woman whose bones knuckle crepe skin, her face the lined mask of a thousand farm wives. She reveals no opinion. The carney's arms and yellow grin refer to her widely, door number three, his prize in the faded two-piece swimsuit, Marilyn of canvas road shows. She stands mute like the woman in Anderson's tale who feeds and feeds the world until she dies in moonlight, reborn, a romantic instant in villagers' eyes as a lovely girl, mistaken and taken for what she never was. We sit silent, praying for transformation to save her from us. The carney reveals a cattle prod in the timepiece that is our breathing halts. Waves the rod like a flag, it sings, whines to be fed. She's hypnotized. The tenderest part of the human body, says the carney. He slides the rod horizontal in front of her, not touching. Our nerves become her. Before her breasts, then level with pelvis, he pauses the rod, the tenderest part and moves upward as if he would stroke her for us, as if he would enter her on stage. Rod at her throat, her tongue takes its cue, appears automatically in a curve as if taking a bow, tenderest, and he lays it down, rod on flesh, the fake smoke of his hell and susurration of his pardon that keeps her tied to this place, rise over her head like a benediction resigning all faith in the tenderest part. <laughs>